How you doing, Mike? Hey, Trisha. How are you doing? Thanks for being with me. Hey, Vicky. Yeah. A little amazing grace. Never hurt anybody. Hey, Henry. wanted to start with a little amazing grace. <clears throat> I'm a part of a group. We do a friendship camp, which is a camp for, it's an interfaith camp. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Sammy. Good to see you, Sam Atkinson. But we do an interfaith camp for kids that are third through sixth grade, and we're going to be doing it this weekend virtually and in person. But there's a song I'm going to be leading and playing called Peace, Salam, Shalom which is uh, peace in Arabic, Hebrew, and uh, in English. And it has been stuck in my head for about two weeks now. <laughs> so I'm looking for a way to get another song, song out there for me. Um, but if you will, let's begin our time together. Uh, we're going to start on page 103 of the Book of New... Uh, book common prayer. Take a moment. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. 
The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> now, I guess that song that I was talking about, Peace, Shalom, Shalom, kind of goes along with what I was thinking today. Um, I was doing the readings, and the readings were about um, Judas. And I kind of was feeling not wanting to be separate or, or thinking bad, but wanting to come together uh, because that's what we're doing as a community uh, faith this weekend. And one of the things that I missed uh, about doing, hey, Jennifer, uh, doing morning prayer is that we always had the saint of the day. And I always liked the idea of learning from people who are just like us, but doing things, as the song says, for God. And so I wanted to, uh, well, hallelujah. Uh, that's great. Um, we will, please, if you will, put all your uh, prayers in the comments. But I wanted to talk to you about today's um, saint. And maybe we can just glean a little bit from what he did uh, to bring people together. Uh, the saint of the day is Albert J. Latuli. Albert Latuli was an African nationalist and Zulu chief, was recognized nationally and internationally for his involvement in the fight against apartheid in South Africa. Although Latuli and Martin Luther King Jr. rarely worked closely together, they were mutual admirers. In 1959, after reading Strive Toward Freedom, King's account of the Montgomery bus boycott, Latuli told a friend that it was the greatest inspiration for him. As a Christian and president of the African National Congress, Latuli shared with King the religiously inspired dream of a peacefully integrated society achieved through nonviolent means. In December 1959, King wrote Latuli of his admiration. I admire your great witness and your dedication to the cause of freedom and human dignity. You have stood amid persecution, abuse, and oppression with a dignity and calmness of spirit. One day, all of Africa will be proud of your achievements. Latuli was born in 1898 in southern Rhodesia. Upon completing a teaching program in 1917, Latuli took his first job as an elementary school teacher. Two years later, he attended Adams College in South Africa, where after earning a higher degree, he remained on faculty for 15 years. During his time at Adams, the devoutly religious Latuli became a lay preacher. He was an active member of the Christian community, and he served as chairman of the African Board of the Congregationalist Church of America as president of the Natal Mission Conference. In 1936, Lutuli accepted the call to serve as the chief of Groutville Reserve Tribe, which had 5,000 Zulus. For the next 17 years, Lutuli remained chief until he was deposed by the government in 1952. Latuli's unrelenting dedication to the anti-apartheid movement was acknowledged when he became the first black African to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1960. Almost immediately after receiving the award, Latuli joined King to issue an appeal for action against apartheid, and he used the sponsorship of the American Committee on Africa, which urged people to protest apartheid through nonviolent actions such as boycotts, demonstrations, and public education. After returning from Africa in 1964, James W. King, an Ohio minister, relayed a message from Latuli to King. I asked Chief Latuli what he would want Americans to know. He said, Give my highest regards to Martin Luther. It is not often that we see clergymen taking a stand on social issues. It means a lot to us here. 
Martin Luther King is my hero. King's respect for Zetuli was such that, in his acceptance of the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, he honored Lutuli's work in South Africa and forged a link between the Civil Rights Movement and the African Liberation Movement, saying, You honor, once again, Chief Lutuli of South Africa, whose struggles with and for his people are still met with the most brutal expressions of man's inhumanity for man. May we all come together in peace. Latuli died in 1967 at age 69. Just knowing there are people out there who strive to bring us together gives me hope. And I thank God that he has inspired people to do that. If you would, please uh, send your prayers and we will get to those and lift them all up. Let's continue our prayer together. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. <coughs> we lift up in prayers Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, the Presiding Bishop, Larry, our Bishop, St. Mark's clergy, Danny, Michael, Patricia, Susan, Joanna, and Billy, and St. Mark's staff and vestry. We pray for the Episcopal Church in the Philippines. In our own diocese, we pray for Trinity Cathedral in Little Rock and St. James in Magnolia. For peace and an end to terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. We pray for our staff, especially Linda Walker. We pray for our ministries, especially St. Mark's music programs. And we pray for the safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, especially Sam, Breen, and Marshall. We pray for those commended to our prayers, for Don, Tim, Cole, Austin, John, Art, Madison, Pat, Paul, Rachel, Mary, Dean, Irene, Diana, Pam, Betsy, Carl, Cynthia, Lori, Samantha, Dale, Ashley, Jerry, Matthew, Craig, Becky, Megan, Ward, Madeline, Maggie, Nick, Kim, and Linda. Pray for Mike. Hey, Tony. We lift up in prayers for John. We are thankful for Linda and her talents. We pray for the food pantry and we give thanks for all the volunteers and the, and the people who come. May we all come together in our help and love for each other. Pray for Catherine, 
Anna. Eye surgery. We lift up Greg. Henry. We do pray for your surgery tomorrow. That you are safe. And we give thanks for Edie's daughter who is COVID free. We give thanks for your presence being with us today. We give thanks for all those celebrating birthdays and anniversaries. We pray for Casper Conliffe, who has died, and Daphne and her family as they mourn. Well, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, and thanks being with me. I hope you guys have a great day. God's peace. I really appreciate being able to spend this time. It's nice to know that we're here, even though it's virtually. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.